Put down your gadgets. Turn away from your computers. Get out your scissors, paper, and glue, because it's time for a paper adventure. All right! Aristotle Knock Knock Paper Tales! In one particularly papery land, there lived a moose named Aristotle and a woodpecker named Knock Knock. One day, when our friends were sitting there enjoying a lovely ink tea, a super heavy rain began to pour all of a sudden. Ah! What should we do? Our paper clothes are drying outdoors! Aristotle and Knock Knock hurried to save their clothes from the rain, and did so just in time. We gotta shut the door, Ari! Quick! Knock! Are you really that afraid of thunder? No, Ari! But some stranger could get into our house! But Knock, strangers don't rove around getting into someone else's house when it's raining so heavy. Huh! He's already here! Who? The stranger! These are his tracks! Hmm, traces indeed. They lead from the outside. Hello, valued stranger. Where are you? He's hiding from us. Well, the traces lead right to the closet. Maybe he's hiding in the closet. Aha! Uh -huh. I gotcha! We're gonna track you down, stranger. Here you are, stranger. No, not here. Come on out right now! Oh, um, not here either! Where are you hiding? Look, Knock! There's a lot more traces now! Uh-oh! The traces are getting more and more, but we can't find the stranger anywhere! What's it supposed to mean? Sorry, it means this is an invisible creature, or, or a seeing creature. Either way, come on out right now. We're gonna find you. Invisible creature, where are you? Well, Knock, maybe he's already gone. Right, Ari. He's gone through the window, and he's hiding outside. Stop! You can't get away from me! Hooray! Invisible being, where are you? Where are you hiding? Hey! Hmm. It's worth knowing that paper woodpeckers absolutely can't fly with their wings soaked. Every wing beat takes them closer and closer to the ground. Who's there? It's me, Knock! Come in, my friend. Hurry! I didn't catch the invisible... I don't know where he's gone. Uh, it's so unpaperful. Hmm. I'll have to think this over in a paperful way. Maybe you know already that whenever Aristotle pondered on a problem, he always played his double bass. Knock! I think I got it. There's no invisible being around here. These are actually our tracks. But I don't understand why they're appearing today. Because, Knock, it's raining outside today. And there's no doormat anywhere near our door. Well, let's make one up as quick as we can. Sure, Knock. Hooray! How paperful. So, let's take two colored pieces of paper and cut them into thin strips without getting all the way to the edge. That's it. Very good. Now unfold one sheet crosswise and start braiding it into the other. That's right. The strip should be above and below, forming a checkerboard. Amazing! Our doormat is finally ready! Great! 
washing my feet before coming in is one of my favorite things. It's mine too, Nock. In this way, our story folded up in a very paperful way. And it goes without saying, from then on, the Invisible Man didn't call into the friend's house. Needless to say, see you next paper time.